Gina, it's okay. Look, you've had an intense couple of days down here. I'm sure your magic will return. No, I know. I just have to keep at it. Of course. Well, if it helps, I'm here for you. Always. Kiss for luck. Good luck to you, too. Bring him back. Thanks. I will. The others went out to get us some food. I think they could use some help. So what's this about still practicing? Is your magic not working? Because mine's fine now. No, oh, it'll work when it needs to. I could probably take out my own heart, but then splitting it to share with Hook, I'll need help. So if you can't, we might need to find another way. I can, and I will. I finish what I start. I know you do. Maybe I can help. Do you remember when you used the dagger to force me to get the Promethean spark going when I couldn't control my magic? You didn't know why you were blocked. I know all too well. This place hardly has good, positive energy. Every person I've ever killed is here. My father, the blind witch, enough villagers to make a crazed mob. And Daniel. That's where this all started, right? Are you worried that he's down here? Or that he's not down here? I moved on. Moving on and being over someone are two very different things. Maybe that's what's holding you back. That you did move on. When we are on our way to the underworld, I saw Neil. What? When I passed out, it was a vision or a visitor. I don't know what it was, but I saw him. My first love. And I suddenly felt this immense guilt that I was coming down here to save my new love. What did he do? He gave me the greatest gift I could ask for. He said it was OK. Maybe being this close to Daniel is what's blocking you. I'm not close to Daniel. Are you sure? Because he could be down here in the underworld. Have you even checked? I mean, if you're right, and there is nothing left to resolve, what's the risk? You have time to go now if you want. You can go check on him. I'll be ready to help you either way. This is not just about helping me. This is for you, too. 